So let's have the men animate on first. So we'll select the men falling, and we'll leave them where they are. Um, so we want them to start at zero, and we want the women to start maybe halfway where the guys are. So 50, the blue guy starts coming in, and we can select ladies, hit uh, open bracket. So then they'll start falling in. And then let's do um, the 50 uh, marker, the men marker, at uh, 110. And we'll hit the ladies at uh, 210, their marker. And then we can have the population banner at 220, just because there's not going to be any more overlapping uh, with the, the banner and the people falling. Five seconds. And I like to just trim all that. Actually, since the ladies are being cut off a little bit, but the fellas are not. Uh, we'll turn the continuous rasterization on. Um, in here, and it should be fine. Yeah, there we go. Well, they kind of pop in, so let's go ahead and bring it all up a little bit, except for the banner. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Now we could, if we wanted to bring these ladies uh, further down, and they're kind of just popping in um, like that, we could go into uh, the lady falling, and we can just, this keyframe here, we can just raise her up even more. But um, then that would affect how much she's bouncing. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm just going to just put that back. So if the client wants it more centered, then we would go in here and then we could change this first keyframe to be higher. But for right now, I think it's fine. So they're all falling. I think that looks pretty cool. Now, what we don't want is as they're falling, when they're, they're overlapping here, it kind of looks like just a mess. Just, ugh, just doesn't look good. So there is a way around it. We could add an, outli an outline to our ladies, but that might affect um, their, their reflection. You know, um, so not gonna, not gonna do that. Uh, outline, I don't think it's the way to go. So what we can do is we can, we can add a track mat. So, and, and I'll show you. So, if we were to, if we were to um, duplicate these ladies, Control D, put them above the men, or it doesn't really matter. Um, the one above the men, we're going to rename um, ladies falling mat, and we're going to select the layer under it. And if you hit the toggle switch modes or uh, F4, go back and forth. We. Um, we're going to set that to um, alpha inverted. So taking the it, so the men falling is taking the alpha information from the ladies falling, which you see, you can see it hides it for you automatically. Anytime you set a track mat, it will automatically hide it. So it's taking the alpha information from the ladies and subtracting it from the men. So you have uh, you have a slight um, a slight outline. So you can kind of see it at full screen, um, but it still kind of looks like a mess. So what we can do is we can add a uh, choker. Uh, so it's called a simple choker, and it's under the uh, the mat effect. So if we were to go um, select, have our lady selected, go to effects, mat, um, simple choker. You could use mat choker, but it, it's, it's a little bit more... Um, Processing intensive, and you have a lot more options, but we don't we don't need to do that. And we're just gonna negative three point five. 
So when we go to full screen, we can see that there is a clear difference between the two. So it adds a little bit of depth, and we can add a little bit more just so we can clearly see it at full screen. So they're falling, and clearly they're in front of. And we can, um, we can actually let's lock that and hide it. And then we can lock all of these, because I think we're done. I don't think we need to add anything else. Um, we could, we could animate these two banners here, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. That, that we can, we can learn, uh, or we can animate these at another time. So let's go ahead and get our full. So it looks pretty cool. Actually, let's make that great. Let's make another solid for our background just so we can replace that. Um, so go layer new, or actually, let's just duplicate that. Uh, Control Shift Y. We're going to just change the color to be a little bit darker. So, maybe 4 divided by 2. There we go. Um, and then, if we have this selected and we Alt drag over it, there we go. Just adds a little bit more contrast. Cool, all right. And that's it. That's how we animate um, the population infographic from the free vector infographic that was online. Um, and we can, go, we can go over some of these other ones at a later time. There's the uh, bar chart, the timeline, pi, per, it's called per, radial chart. So, and then there's a lot, that, I mean, all of these will be animated differently. And you just kind of have to think beforehand how you want to animate these, I mean all of these markers here, or, or these title banners or whatever, would be similar to the population banner that, we, that we've, we've done. So we can have a cool wipe with, um, with all these continents here, and these, these drop in, and these, you know, this lines out, and then text whoosh, swishes out. You know, just kind of have an idea in mind about how you want to animate it, so, and then Go forward from there. So, there you go. Uh, if you guys are interested, um, my background is primarily in um, film and visual effects. So, if you guys want to check out my website, and if you see something on there that you think is cool, you know, just email me, ask me, and I can make a, a quick tutorial or, or kind of give you the rundown of, of the, some of the things I used. Um, so yeah, check it out, Um I'll be making more tutorials in the future. Um, right now I'm just focusing on motion graphics. I, I want to get uh, some of my people that, that I have in my repertoire to know more about motion graphics. Um, yeah, and then, and then eventually I'll get make more tutorials about visual effects and things like that. So yeah, take a look. Some cool stuff, or not, you know, whatever. But if you do see something cool and you want to learn about it, let me know and uh, see what I can do. Um, all right, guys, all this stuff will be provided um, for your learning benefit. So um, if there's something in there that's missing or something that you want, let me know. Um, and Awesome. Hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys got something out of it. And I'll talk to you next time.